Hello everybody, welcome to uh, November uh, 30th, Sunday, 2014. I want to talk really fast, because um, it's actually the next night, the next day's night. And I want to say really fast is that um, my phone started to work, my baby niece turned it on, somehow I feel stupid if I don't even know how she did it, which I don't. And the button still doesn't want to work, it still does not work. So, I had to figure out how to use the phone. I can't really use it because <sighs> several things. Well, I, if I take it to work, it'll die. And if, I, if it dies, I can't turn it back on. So, I have to leave it charging all the time at home. Everything works on it. Camera, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook. Calling, texting, everything still works. No problem. Just to turn on the screen still does not want to work. Which is a big thing because it's the same way you turn on the screen for the... the, the turn on or off the screen for the uh, phone. And or to turn on the phone or off. So that's a big thing. And yes, I'm recording on the phone right now. Uh, so that was a little update for you. And plus... Uh, at the end of the vlog, you're going to see the two videos I told you yesterday about, the Virtual Boy and the Reindeer, I got on footage, which I still got. They're actually uploaded right now. I'm going to uh, edit this on YouTube, as you can tell right here. I just want to show it. Uh, right there, uh, you can totally see the Virtual Boy and some Reindeer. So, they're there. I just need to, you know, edit, it, edit them into the vlog for this one. So, footage is found. Footage was found. Or recovered, or remastered, I don't know. Um, and my phone kind of works. <laughs> kind of. So, it's that's great, for now. Uh, but once my phone starts, you know, I can't do it again, or whatever, I'll just go back to recording the vlog on the, uh, the, the laptop, so there's no problem there. And yes, I know a lot of people are saying, why don't you just get an actual camera with an SD card for about four, whatever gigs you want, just to record yourself in a vlog. I want you to do that really badly. I don't have a camera, nor do I have the money for a camera, but I'll be saying, but wait, you just bought a PS4. I know. <laughs> Gaming is a bigger priority in my life than a camera for some reason. I don't know why, but I do want a camera. I've said several million times I want a camera. It has to be a camera that's at least portable, has to have really great, you know, pixels, you know, like HD. You know, I, I don't really know much about that, but I know it has to be really great. It has to look fantastic. Even if you like moving it around and stuff. I know this camera doesn't really do that as much, but it tried its best. I could, I could tell. So that's good for enough. So, uh, what do I want to talk about today? I have several things I wanted to talk about. But I'll leave the thing I want to talk about the most tomorrow. Uh, well, well, actually, no, I can't. well, maybe. Okay. The as of today, um, it's, it's like I said, it's the actual day. But the vlog that went out today publicly, publicly, Dude. was the legendary battle, Power Rangers, uh, Pokemon Mega Ruby, Alpha, Alpha Sapphire, and Sonic Boom TV episode number three and four, uh, vlog. Um, after that vlog was out, I think a day and a half later, they have announced that there's going to actually be a extended version of the episode, Legendary Battle, on the website, Nickelodeon, which was of, from that point, it would have been next Sunday, or sorry, next Saturday, or Sunday, or Friday, whatever, but at any one of those three days, it's already out, so I will go check that out on Nickelodeon website, possibly in the next couple days here, because I really want to see it, before Dino Charge releases, which I'll tell you how that is once I finally see an episode of Dino Charge. And plus, I haven't even seen the trailer to Dino Charge, so that's a lot of things right there. I have no interest in Dino Charge as much as it's Mega Force, because I was really, really excited for the Legendary Battle, which uh, Legendary, uh, which Mega Force was actually pretty good, so uh, I gotta get a credit for that. So, um,. Other than that, uh, yes, Kingdom Hearts 2.5 HD Remix does come out tomorrow. I'm, I am I'm aware of that. Um, super aware of that. And uh, today I just want to talk about Grand Theft Auto 5. 
Because, yes, that's what came with the PlayStation 4. But every time I've turned on PlayStation 4, I've been playing Grand Theft Auto V the most. Not Infamous Second Son, which, yes, I bought two days ago or whatever. And not Last of Us Remastered, because I'm already playing that basically through the PlayStation 3 version. But, um... Which I should be playing the remastered, but whatever matter. It doesn't matter. Grand Theft Auto V. I knew it was going to be a really, really fantastic game. Pretty good and all that stuff. I know that. But I didn't know it would feel so addicting in a way. I have never been so into the story of Grand Theft Autos. None of them. Uh... Vice City, pretty good mafia kind of like story. Got it. Being a badass, all that stuff. San Andreas. You just wanted to freaking do all gangster like shit because it's San Andreas. Liberty City Stories. It didn't feel that great, but story wise, it felt like the actual story was wanting to to progress. That's why they made like several uh, sequels to the Liberty City uh, uh, stuff, like. Liberty City Stories. Was it, oh, it was Liberty City and the Liberty City Stories and then something from that point on. I think Liberty City was into the next game which was like Grand Theft Auto 4. I played Grand Theft Auto 4. Everyone and their mother has played Grand Theft Auto 4 because it was one of the biggest games for that time to come out and now that Grand Theft Auto 4 is out for like the longest time I tried going back to Grand Theft Auto 4 and a lot of people have probably agreed that Grand Theft Auto 4 is not as fun as uh, Vice City and or San Andreas which is true. So I played Grand Theft Auto V, thinking all that stuff. I was like, okay, this is going to be one of those games, but it is, but it makes you actually like the characters you're playing as, or hate them, or actually tells you more into, like, story-wise, and the missions are fantastic, the environment is just brilliant, it's open world, that's awesome. They put a lot of effort into this, and I can really tell. I didn't give them as much credit as when they released at first, because I just didn't. My cousin Josh, uh, Exceeding Wolf, he was more interested in that when I before I was, because uh, he got I think he got it launch day, including uh, the Mister Digital Four, David. So, um, all those, you know, thoughts in my head back for, back days like that's eh, just another Grand Theft Auto game, whatever. It's it's more than that. It feels really really smooth like I like like it's planned down and everything like now it's not rushed or anything it was really good uh, I haven't tried out online yet I've not tried out Grand Theft Auto Online but for the game itself it's really good that is my first impressions uh, uh, the, the beginning of the, the, the thing I wasn't feeling it the very beginning like startup I wasn't feeling it but when I got to after the whole Michael was dead and Trevor blah, 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 and all that shit after all that, getting to know the characters, Michael, Franklin, and then eventually to Trevor. From Michael and Franklin, I was having a blast. And then from Trevor, yeah, I was still having a blast, but I had to get used to his kind of humor and or likeness. And then I got used to him. And then when I, when finally all, well, not all three, Michael and uh, Trevor finally meets up. Because Trevor finds out he's alive and all that, because of a Pacific Heist. It feels natural for me, and I was like, oh my god, he just met, what's gonna happen, <laughs> kind of thing. So I was really, really excited for that. So, this game is really, really addictive. It's it's really good. So, uh, as I'm playing it, I'll let you know, um, it's, right now it's fantastic. That's my first impression. It's fantastic. More than I was probably asking for. More, better than all the sequ all the games beforehand. Maybe one or two things would be nice. Great, but I don't know. More good. This is fantastic, amazing, spectacular. So, Grand Theft Auto V. It's good. Fantastic. Amazing. Spectacular. Uh, anyways, um, that's really it for today, everybody. I, I, I just really wanted to talk about that because I have to record the next vlog. Oh, I said tomorrow's going to be Kingdom Hearts Super 5. Ignore that. In two days, it'll be Kingdom Hearts Super 5. Remake. Sorry. Think about tomorrow's vlog already. Anyways, everybody. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, leave them below, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow to tell you about... I don't know. I'll talk to you about something, all right? See you guys tomorrow. Bye. Guys. Look, holy shit. There's an actual virtual boy.
in real life. Never seen one ever in real life. This is cool. <laughs> See, what is there? There's Panic Bomber, Virtual League Baseball, Nestor's Funky Bowling, which is that one right there. That's Wario Land, uh, Virtual Boy Wario Land, Vertical Force, uh, Mario's Tennis, Mario Clash, Tele. Tele. Robox, I don't know, something, and Galactic Pinball. That's pretty cool. Virtual Boys, 240. I could easily buy that if I had my full paycheck. <laughs> but I don't. Oh my god, this is something cool. And it comes with an official Nintendo case, which is so badass, because I don't ever see these, and I only have one, and that's from a NES. So that's why it's so badass, and I never tried it out. I always wanted to see how it actually feels, a Virtual Boy controller, but... I know of doubtful they're gonna let me try it out, so I can ask, but I doubt that. So that's pretty cool, though. So, but hello, everybody. I'm at the mall, so I'll see you when I see you, because I have other things I want to look at. Okay, bye. Cool. Oh, look, I found some reindeer. Don't feed the reindeer. They're probably tired. So, I don't blame them. Plus, they might be scared. So. See you guys in a while. Reindeer!